Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, it is freezing, and I am trying to get organized. I feel like that's an everyday thing. I'm literally just getting out of bed. Not just getting, waking up, but just getting out of bed. All of these presents are leaving. Hopefully, within the next couple of days, I'm gonna bring them to the couple of people that I'm gonna see before Christmas. We are gonna, I'm gonna drop them off and tuck them, tuck them under their tree. They don't have kids, so if I put them under my tree, A, Chief will destroy everything that's under that tree, and B, Lauren will try to open them. She already tries to open them and they're just sitting in our back room, AKA her playroom. So in her defense, that's not really fair. Um, but I did want to mention one thing to you guys. Has anybody else had this happen to them? Amazon, I've had it happen now with Amazon and Toys R Us. So my dad's friend gave me money to purchase something for Lauren because A, uh, I know what she wants and B, he works like a ton so he can't really get out a lot. So he gave me a little bit of money and said, you know, here, get something for Lauren. So I ended up finding this um, art easel thing from Toys R Us on sale for Black Friday. I think it was like originally $89. I think I got it for like $49 or something. It was crazy. It was like 50% off. That came to my door, unboxed with my, I don't have it here, it's at his house, I dropped it off. He's gonna wrap it and stuff. Uh, it came in the box that it comes in with just a big sticker on it. I thought, okay, I'm like, it's a big box. I'm like, that would be very difficult to find a larger box to put it into. So I thought, okay, I'll let them have it. Lauren did see it as it came up to the door though. Sam thankfully was outside and I was inside with her. So we kind of like, like got her away from the situation but she does know that it's there doesn't know that it's for her doesn't know anything Hi. Hey. Um, and then so I thought okay that's a big box maybe that's difficult I've never ordered something so big on Toys R Us this is for your friends for Christmas then on Amazon Brayden if you are watching this video please fast forward like a couple minutes <laughs> I got this one, which is a very small box. They could have fit this in anything, just a little bit bigger. And it came with the packaging label right on the front. Not on the back where, you know, I could eventually, I could hide it. No, Lauren, that's not for you. That's for Riley for Christmas. Anyways, this is ridiculous. Thankfully, this isn't my child's big gift that I'm trying to get that person. And they didn't live here but this is not good so thankfully this child does not live in this household and was like okay great so now there's no point of even giving it to him on Christmas might as well have it now so I guess they tried to cover up what it was but I mean you can clearly see what it is anyways not overly happy about that and thankfully someone was here when this got delivered because now there's exposed toys on my porch not just a brown box Anyways, that was my rant. It's over. I'm going to clean. Almost done shopping with my dad. We left at uh, 11 and it's now 1.15. My dad is just running in to drop off something at his friend's house. I got a booster juice. I got the orange sickle. And we are on our way home. We are then off to watch Narnia. Sam and Lauren are having a little Narnia marathon. So I'm going to go join them. We're going to have a nice relaxing afternoon. I also have a Cinnabon. I'm done my, my, peanut, my orange sickle. I saw my dad and now I don't see him anymore. Everything went really well. I got all of, uh, pretty much all of his stuff done. He just has to get like bits and pieces like stocking stuff and everything. So that's really good. It was a very, a very painless afternoon. We had a fun time. We don't often uh, have good times anymore. We're very uh, bickery. We bicker a lot, he and I. I love him to death, but we bicker a lot about nothing, really. I got all my, all of Lauren's stuff wrapped last night and feeling pretty good about that. Some things I'm not gonna wrap. There are a couple of things that I got her that I'm choosing not to wrap because it's gonna be so overwhelming. 
on Christmas morning that if a couple of bigger item things like like clothes aren't going like she got a bunch of clothes so I'm not going to wrap all of those because they're not fun and you know opening one pair of clothes and then opening another set of clothes eventually she's gonna be like I'm done opening clothes so I think those I'm just gonna lay out she'll be excited because she loves getting clothes so she'll be excited about them but maybe I'll put them into a bag or something or put them into one box something like that I think that's what I did last year is I kind of just put all the clothes in one box I'm all staticky but my dad's coming back and <clears throat> we are talking about me we're off to home and I got a Cinnabon which I cannot wait to eat even though I just had that huge booster juice mmm it was so good what are you talking about I don't know what I'm talking about I'll see you guys in a bit it's been very productive yeah we did Mom, well Granny bought us present for Christmas and we finished our and do we wear our thing our decorations for a video stay tuned maybe for tomorrow probably yeah probably for tomorrow Lauren is chilling on the couch over there Uncle Chad <laughs> You just said it last minute to get a picture. Yeah, oh my gosh. You should, I sh I'll insert so the photo that we took. That sweater, the Walmart sweater. Sierra runs out to get hers, and so I'm like, well, I gotta use it. <laughs> it's so grouchy because I put that made him put your He's sweater still grouchy to like this moment about it. Got him, and I'm like tucking it behind. We might take a picture. <laughs> So that's what we've been doing. Oh, look at their tree. They put their tree up. This is a uh, Star Wars tree. Oh, who's this? Look how cute he is. So we're getting ready to go, Lauren and I. It is 5.02 and we're going to head home now. Sierra's going to... Warm my sweater? Show them my lasagna. Oh, Sierra made this today. Sierra, come tell everybody how you made it. Sure. All right. Okay, I put some sauce in after, and then I uh, put sauce on the very bottom of it. Lots of, did you better start that again? <laughs> so I put sauce on the bottom of the pan, and then I put the first layer, put the first layer of uh, pasta, and then I put some cheese, and I can I continued this. <laughs> Sorry, I continued this this process this process until we got this. Amazingly cheesy. Hold <laughs> on here. I'm sorry. I'm not paying attention. Okay, we're going home now. We'll see you when we get we had home. A, we had a fun day, right? We're off to to bed now. Lauren is going to tell you guys what she did today. Okay. Supermarket. Supermarket, huh? Bye. What did you do at the supermarket? I just run around. Mm, just run around. They were looking for ice cream and donuts. You were looking for ice cream and donuts? Yes. Did um, you buy any? Oh no, no, huh? That was locked. That was uh, ice cream door was locked. The ice cream door was locked. Yeah. Sam probably pretended like he couldn't open the door. Yeah. We don't eat a lot of ice cream and stuff like that here. We are more. It was part of the cereal. Oh, I want peanut butter. Oh, you want peanut butter? Okay. Uh, yeah, we're more like chips and salty snacks. Sam will buy cookies and stuff, but he never really. Uh, Hi guys, have a good day. Have a great day. Subscribe. Now you say it. Bye. Say please subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> and on that note, we're going to bed. Because she's wired. It's only 7.15. Well, I want to be the puppy dog. On Snapchat? Thanks for watching. Good night. Good night.